Praise God. Thank you for, for joining me today. I am your host, Brian. You have joined the, the Brian T. Murray YouTube channel. Um, we're having our, our encouragement session. Um, I wanted to get in, into this. I, I, I touched on, on this before. I, I, I've touched on, on this before, but, but I think that this is a very overlooked uh, passage of, of, of scripture. Uh, I want to go to Oral Roberts' favorite passage of scripture, Mark 11, 23 to 25, because because I believe this is very necessary. I believe that this is, this is very necessary. Um, this is what uh, Oral Roberts uh, uh Pastor Hagen and Kenneth Copeland goes through all the time or did and still still do or Kenneth Copeland who, who, who's still alive and with us but um, Mark 11 23 to 25 it says verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but it shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith therefore I say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them and when you stand praying forget if ye have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive your trespasses. Amen, amen, amen. We thank you for, for, for the reading of the word. Let's let's dive in. Mark 11, uh, 23 through 25. Verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. So, Jesus was talking to, to them about the fig tree. Well, well, they, they wanted to talk to Jesus about the, the fig tree because if you remember, Jesus had already cursed the fig tree because it was unproductive. So Jesus is like, huh, you, you, you're you talking to me about a tree. I can take it further. <laughs> Ooh, I can take it further. Let's talk about this mountain. Let's talk about this mountain. Hmm. Be thou removed. Ye, verily I say unto you that whosoever. So you don't have to be a minister, a minister's child, the Pope, who, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea. Why the sea? Because the sea is the only place you can bury a mountain neatly. And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he shall say, that he saith, shall come to pass. So, he cast you, shall not doubt in his heart. Look, your prayers are being sabotaged by, by your own doubts. Have no doubt and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith. Notice he does not say pray. He says saith. Because the difference between prayer and saying is saying is when, when you get to a place where you release your faith. You have got to release your, your faith. Like, I don't have time to commune with, with Jesus on that. I, I have got to release this thing that God has put on my heart. You have got to release that thing by faith. That's where, where the saith comes from. But shall believe that thou these things which he shall say, saith, shall come to pass. Amen. My child will be healed. My fortune will be built old up. I, I am forgiven. I will be for, for forgiven. I will forgive. You got to release your faith. You don't, when you have the Holy Ghost, you don't have time to think about everything that is being said. I, I know that's contrary to, to how we, we were taught growing up. But no, 
when you release that faith, that statement that, that, that is filled with faith and not fear, there's nothing like it. There is nothing like it. And shall believe in those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. Mark 11, 23. Mark 11, 24. Therefore, I say unto you, what, what things soever ye desire. Oh, now. We're, we're putting, putting some thought and some meditation. Some things need, need to be released. Some things some things need, need to be released and you don't have time to really think, think about it and dwell on it. But some things that you do. Whatsoever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have it. We have two different approaches. Two different approaches. And Jesus said, all you got to do is believe and you shall have them. You shall have them. And in closing, in, in verse 25, and when ye stand praying, forgive. If ye have ought against any, anyone, even against yourself, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. It's yours. All, all you got to do is say and then, then pray. Say and then pray. But you got to forgive. So God can forgive you. So the things that you desire and the things that you say, you can have in your life. Just that simple. Just that simple. The part that makes it not simple is the weight. See, all this faith you have, it has to be, be tested. Everything in the kingdom of God has to be tested. It has to be uh, uh, tested. The Lord this, the Lord that, I desire this, I, I deserve it. Okay, prove it. Prove it. Live a life where what you see on the inside when you close your, your, your eyes look totally different than the outside. Prove it. You have to prove it. Amen. You have to prove it. Say unto this mountain, and shall believe in those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, the things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive. And ye ought, if, if ye have ought against any, that your Father which, which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Amen. Because your life got to resemble him. Grudges and oughts, it will stop you every single time. Because you're praying, you're saying, you're, you're praying, you're saying, you're praying, you're saying, you're praying, you're praying, you're saying, you're saying, you're praying, you're saying, you're praying, you're praying, you're praying but, but you're not forgiving, things won't happen. That's what the word says. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for this basic teaching, Lord, that is very overlooked and very underutilized. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to, 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 for you to put it on my heart to just go through it very quickly, very simply, uh, uh, for us to, to receive this manifestation that awaits us. We have to say, and the things that we desire, pray. Then we have to forgive then we just ultimately have to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright. See y'all in a little bit. Bye.